Hi everybody, it's Kay Luella here from MyOnlineTip.com and the ProductCreatorsHub.com. Today I'm going to do a very, very quick tutorial on iPicky.com and how to make your photos look like sketches for children's picture ebooks. So I just go into iPicky.com and this is the window that you will first see. Start editing and what you need to do is upload a photo that you want to edit. Now I've already uploaded a few but uh, what you can do is you just click on upload and it goes into your PC and you pick the one you want to edit. So just for the sake of this uh, quick demonstration I'll take this photo here and it comes into this window here. Now this is, um, this is on the beach, this is outside, it's actually in Port Douglas in Queensland so earlier this year this is my daughter. So up here, as you can see, these are the buttons you can choose from in iPicky. Now, this particular page here is more about straight photo editing um, and very quick and easy ways to edit. Really what we want to go to is photo effects, which is here. Now, photo effects essentially are filters, and I often apply filters from in here for me for just personal photos, things like this. I love this kind of thing where you really mix up what you're doing. and This is a very common one I use. But we're not going to do that. What we want to do is make it look like it's an illustration for a book. And the most popular one I find, and the one I want to use in the demonstration in this video, is Pencil Sketch. Now, as you can see, when I click on that, it automatically comes up. And there's actually a lot of features within this one filter. So I'm going to take it through very carefully, but quickly. So I'm going to take too much of your time. Uh, the strength is really how dark the pen is. So, so there it's quite lightened and up here it's getting quite heavy. Now the heavier the pen, if you go colour it, which I'm going to do in a minute, it will pick up the colour more. So that's why that's quite good. But I don't like it getting this background too dark. So I normally pick around here and I keep it 100% fade, uh, fade. But it, you, as you can see, as you scale it in, it actually up the original image, which I, we, I don't want anyway. Then you also have the blend mode. Now this is normal, but you can also have darken, you can have multiply, lighten, screen overlay, all that sort of thing, which just, again, they're just different features. I don't think for a children's book that would be too relevant. Now this is the thing I do want to show. You see the little paintbrush here in the corner? Now at the minute, I just want to make this really clear to you, I haven't actually done anything to my original photo. So no matter what I do within here, within iPicky, my original photo that I originally uploaded, it's still in that same state. So you can do anything you like here, you don't have to worry about damaging your photo. So I'll click on this paintbrush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply more of the effect or more arrays. So if I select arrays and I select a large brush and I say 100% strength, I'm basically trying to erase the effect. So maybe I want that beach to come back in. You see how that's working? Okay, so, you know, I mean, having said that, you may not want that. But that's an example of what you can do. Or, for instance, you might sort of say, look, I'd really like to bring back in her, her tone in her face, but only very subtly. It's too dark. Just very subtly, just to give her... Her, well, it's too dark, but yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> she looks like a munchkin now. Uh, effect is when you actually apply more of the effect, which is to make it pencil. So if I do that, we're basically going to reverse all that now. Okay, so um, there we go. And and so on. And then when you finish, you just cross it out. It will not delete it. It's up to you now to either apply or cancel. Now I'm going to, I'll just... I'll select apply just for the for the hell of it, right? Now then what I want you to do is go up to this one which is called retouch. And this is really I, I really love this and I think for kids' books, I think it's fantastic. I'm going to select, I don't know if you saw me do that, I'm actually going to select hair colour. Okay, under the rest. <laughs> and I'm going to set pink. I think she was wearing pink on that day. And I don't really want to fade, I want to keep it quite pink. Now what happens is it doesn't really paint it like you're using crayons but it's sort of tainting that a little bit just enough that it's applying that pink and then it actually looks pink. I'll make the brush bigger so that it's quicker. All right and it's just a way to sort of add uh, now if I adjust the color here it's going to adjust it over here because I haven't accepted it yet. Once I accept it you, you won't be able to change it. All right so let's say yeah no I don't like that pink I'll go with I'll go with that one, okay? So then I say apply. And then let's say I say now I'm going to do her eye, uh, her, her lips in, uh, well, you could actually, in this case, you could select lip colour, couldn't you? And same, that's a bit small. 
take it up to about there, the brush size. And again, you can play as, as except, let's say uh, erase. I'm basically just choosing to erase it back and then apply. So that's that's really how you're coloring it. And then to save your image, you go into the save button and you, you basically want to show it you know, quite a high, you, know, you want high quality. And you save it, you can get the image link if you want to link it to an image site rather than your own. That's um, one way to create your own illustration on iPicky.com. And I have kind of rushed it because, I'm, you know, with YouTube videos, you're working fast. But really, within the Product Creators Hub, I will do this much more slower and we'll work through different techniques to do different kind of effects. And uh, I look forward to meeting up with you then. Okay, it's Kate Luella. Thanks for your time. Bye.